Last December, Congressman Patrick McHenry told us he's also pushing for accountability. We need to make sure we have the right investigation from the Office of Inspector General. But News 13 found McHenry failed to attend last week's oversight hearing. <laughs> For the past six years, high school history teacher Tate McQueen Good, that's great. has made it his mission to uncover the truth. He and his family live less than a mile from the CTS site. He's the vice president of a community action group focused on getting the site cleaned up. Ah, wipe out. <laughs> this is a major contamination zone. In 2010, McQueen and 24 other families filed a civil lawsuit against CTS Corporation. In court documents, they claim CTS caused the contamination, which created a continuous nuisance. The plaintiffs claim the contamination has harmed both their health and property values. The suit demands CTS clean up the site immediately and compensate affected families. In September, CTS appealed the lawsuit to the U.S. Supreme Court. We tried to speak with CTS officials about the case, but they haven't returned our calls. In 1990, they went into this ditch area. The queen um, filed a lawsuit in 2010 after learning NUS had tested the Rice of Springs in 1990 uh -huh. without their permission. Correct. Before that, the only thing the Rices knew was that their well water had always tasted horrible. For nine years. But they didn't know the reason the water tasted bad was because it was full of contaminants. They were betrayed to the core, and it hurts. It hurts when you've been served this type of injustice, and seemingly no one wants to come along and make it right. Now, the, people can talk about it, but again, we want to see it.